Hello, hello, everyone. Uh, <laughs> welcome, welcome. Um, yeah, so there's just a few things that I really need to just get off my fucking chest. And it has to do with people like whom we see on stream right now. Uh, I already know that good old LTG here basically streams every single night for about anywhere from two to three, maybe even four hours, who knows, at this point. Um, I will admit that I don't really watch much, if anything, of his stuff. It's honestly just kills my IQ after a while to have to listen to this guy. And there is just a lot of ranting stuff that I need to get off my chest and out of my brain about this guy. And what I'm going to do is I am just going to essentially just kind of live react to this compilation. Um, so first and foremost, shout outs to Simp Felon for this. Um, obviously, going through the pain of collecting all this together and <laughs> and uh, just going just just sitting through all of the content that he had to just to throw together this 12 minutes of stuff. Uh, I do applaud him. Is that is, frankly, a lot of draining work. And you're going to find out why if you don't already know. So, for those who stumble upon this stream and watch this and they have no idea who this person is, uh, I'm going to give you a very, very brief synopsis, a very brief history on this guy. LTG is your primary example of somebody who is 100% up their own ass with how they feel about not only themselves, but the rest of the world. They have their own opinion on everything, and their opinion is not just in ignorance, it's in ignorance that is disguised as smarts, or at least in attempted smarts, and we're going to see that, I'm pretty sure, <laughs> in this video. Uh, I did skim through it already, and it has some, oof, it has some pretty hot stuff in it already, so pretty spicy things, and one thing that you're going to really pick up on, and I noticed this whenever I first came across any sort of compilation with this guy is that he says he has two college degrees, which is, if he does, congratulations. Uh, that's awesome, I guess. Uh, what you're doing with them, I have no idea. Uh, but I, it's up to you. <laughs> um, and quite frankly, especially nowadays, having two degrees in anything that isn't, uh, that isn't in healthcare, isn't in medicine, isn't in some sort of science, uh, or isn't a lawyer, something like that, you're probably not going to be making anything any, anyway with those degrees. Um, as we know and has been, and what has been very much exposed to the world, I think, is that uh, there is very little that goes into degrees whenever it comes to like job searching and stuff like that unless you're in those particular fields that I mentioned before nobody's gonna care what kind of degree you have and if it's just like an associate's degree they're definitely not gonna care uh, they only really start per peaking their interest and perking their brows at you whenever it's bachelors and up um, Especially if you have a master's degree, or even if you go as far as to have a doctorate. 
chances are good you probably weren't aiming to be working for anybody. You were aiming for having people to work for you. Especially if you're a doctor, especially with a doctorate, you're probably wanting to uh, open up your own office somewhere and do your own thing. Although we all know that you have, you still have to work up to that anyway. Uh, knowing from my own personal experience, I knew of someone who had a doctorate and was struggling to find himself a doctor because of how the healthcare system worked and everything else. So, yeah, that's a side story for a completely different time that may never come. We're going to focus on this. We're going to focus on this dumbass. <laughs> and I'm sorry, but he is. He makes up words and says that that's just the way I say it. I'm a scholar. That's just the way I say things. If I say that you're a humbaba limba, you may not think that that's a thing, but it is, because I said it is, and that's the way I say things. I mean that you're an idiot whenever I say humbaba limba. It's, it, it, trust me, it, it hurts. It hurts to the core. <laughs> Alright, let's, oh, let's get started, and just for an FYI, uh, whenever I play these, I'm going to mute myself, because I don't know if it bleeds over or not. And quite frankly, I don't want anybody who runs into this later at any point struggle to uh, listen to just nothing but echo all the time. And at one point during this, uh, because I know how these kinds of people work, uh, these narcissistic assholes, because I know how their brain works, uh, I may... Uh, go on a little bit of a, a intermission, as it were, to not only get a drink for myself, as I imagine my throat's going to be pretty dry by, <laughs> by the time that I'm done ranting about this guy, and just about people that are narcissistic like him in general. But I'm also going to do a brief intermission to do some other things, so... Uh, We'll talk about it when and if the time comes. But until then, uh, let's go ahead and uh, start listening. Yeah, nigga, stop coming in my stream telling me mechanics and shit. Like, I don't know what the fuck is going on. I'm a scholar. I know fucking mathematics. Fucking mathematics. You said put it on two times speed. Let's do it. Uh, what should I put it on? 0.5 or... 0.25 recovery data all types of frame data startup frames everything the fuck how the fuck you think i got this seat in this fucking stream i was always the last kid to get picked up i know it sounds too perfect i know it sounds like some victimized story but it's not i'm just telling you my shit this is okay so two things already first of all and I want to show you all this in real time. He goes to the playback settings, playback speed, and how he has it set up, it only shows from I think to about here, and then up. But if you ha if you're watching something with a smaller window, and this full menu doesn't come up like it is right here, it will actually show you a little scroll down bar over here, and I'm pretty sure that showed up. But he's like, oh, what should I put it on, guys? Should I put it on 0.5 or 0.25? Whenever somebody said, play it at twice the speed. Play it at twice the speed. It's right here. It's right here, my, right here, my, my, my friend. Really? You don't, you don't know how to... You've been on YouTube for I don't know how long now. Only just recently, as far as I know, finally hit that uh, hit hit that high sub count, which I will go and look again to just kind of refresh my memory on exactly what that timetable and that uh, milestone was, if you can call it that. But you only just recently hit the milestone. And you still, and you've been on YouTube for as long as you have, and you still don't know how the playback speed works. It's sad. And then we get to the other part 
which is whenever he says, oh, I, I'm not telling you a victimized story. Let's let's hear that again real quick. To my story, but it's not. I'm just telling you my shit. Not a victimized story. How do you victimize a story exactly? Do you... <laughs> do you... <laughs> Do, do you hold it down and, b and beat the hell out of it? Is that how you victimize your story? Did you physically print the, the book of your life and then you just held down the physical copy and just battered it? <laughs> victimize story. Like, I know what he's trying to say. He's trying to say, oh, I'm not, so, you know, I'm, he's trying to say the whole victim story thing. Like, oh, I'm not saying that this is a victim story. I'm not telling you, I'm not telling you that I have a victim's story. The, the, the victimized story. I, I'm... I fall continuously at a loss with this sort of shit. I don't understand. And I am going to have to remove that because it keeps... Oh no, it's still blocking it out, huh? Okay. I don't know why that's doing that. Oh, I got it. Okay. You're just not... Con you're just not collecting the whole thing there, bud. That's not what we want. We're real time fixing this. There we go. How, how annoying. Alright, anyways. Moving right along. I'm just going to move this right about here. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Let's continue forth. I think he's about to rage at something. This is how you know these niggas have no time, bro. This nigga's an ultimate grandmaster, never been heard of, and has time to teabag for 99 seconds. This is how you know these niggas have no time, bro. This okay. Yeah, I think this is a pretty good thing to stop on. Stop on too. This is a part of his chat. This is this is one of the parts that I actually stopped in my skimming. And and watched. It's kind of it's kind of interesting. Uh, apparently, back in the, just going by the context of what I'm seeing here, probably mentioned that he's a little sick at some point. And then somebody's just genuinely asking him, you know, if you have, you have, you said you had roommates at one point, or you you must have roommates at one point, whatever, and you know they were sick, maybe they gave you the flu. I mean, it seems like a pretty genuine thing to ask, especially if it's a creator that you care about. I don't know. Um, just I, that's just my based assumption on that one. But anyways. Uh, that's one thing the LTG, though, has always been, uh, going back on what we just saw, has been kind of notorious for. I would say infamous for, but, you know, infamous would have to, would have to indicate that there's some kind of fame there. But, he, let's face it, the, the dude's not famous. He's still on a streaming platform been been at it for probably a decade now and if not over and is still not making anything so this is frankly just a, a hobby that you do often um anyways so he, he's he's very well known for at least well once again he's not famous but he's uh, notorious for being one of these very enraged uh, gamer types, as soon as anybody does anything to him in a in any sort of fighting game, like DSP is another one that's like this. Uh, Wings of Redemption is another one that's like this. They get so angry during their video game play, and they just can't handle it, and they start raging. And for everybody who enjoys watching that stuff, I am admittedly one of those people. I love watching people get angry at dumb shit like that. Uh, he's 
getting angry and going, oh, well, this guy's, like, the whole the whole point of that one was, oh, this guy, you can tell that these guys don't have a lot of time, and then immediately says an allotted time, which is 90 seconds. 90 seconds doesn't seem like a long time, but whenever you're playing, whenever you're playing a, a game, like a fighting game like that, and that's all you're doing, and the other, and the opponent's not reacting and just letting you do it, it does indeed waste time, and that does build up. Shame, shameful. Uh, it's just, it's just a minor one though. We'll move on. <laughs> not, not really anything juicy yet. I don't have no fucking roommate, nigga. Man, man now you pressing the issue, bitch ass nigga. You, you live at home, bitch nigga. Oh! I'm roommating with your fucking mom, creeping through the window. She opens up that black. Okay, I'm going to stop him right there because that is one of the things that is slightly irritating for me with with L, with LTG specifically. And I've seen another compilation somewhere at some point where uh, it talks about a compilation of him roasting his viewers. And he, th he is the uh, stereotypical your mom roaster. That's literally anything that he immediately goes to whenever he's talking about someone else is the other person's mom. And I'm pretty sure it's like 99% of the time that... It has to do with him fucking them or doing something sexual with them, uh, which happens to include them urinating in his mouth. It's kind of a Freudian slip there, I think. Uh, you you like to be urinated on, do you? Especially in your mouth. Hmm. Dirty boy there, LTG. Anyways, he go. It's the constant throwback to that is your mom. Oh well, uh, you, you 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 know who else uh, you know who else parks wrong in the parking lot? Your mom, and she does it while she's sucking my dick. Like it's always that corny shit, it, that corny, uh, that extremely corny, like grade school level. Not even high school. We're talking before that, or like late elementary, early. A junior high or middle school, whichever one that you all went to. I personally went to a middle school. But anyways, uh, yeah, just that junior high level of roasting humor is your mom. Uh, who's, who put my pencil here? Your mom. She did it while I was banging her. <laughs> Stupid. It's it's so low grade. And for somebody of of this magnitude here, this guy to say that uh, he has, that he has two degrees, a high IQ, and is a scholar, apparently, because I do believe he says that in this, is that, and then it also says it in the, in the title there, scholar. Um, <laughs> he's got a, he's mentally untouchable, a scholarly IQ, and the worst insult he can come up with is, your mother, and she did things with my penis. Okay. Ghetto gate and I just hop in. Hop in here, creep, glutes peeking and busting and robusting from doing squats every Sunday. I'm looking around. She got condoms ready. I said, wait a minute. These are not Magnum XL. She said, all right, we'll run to the store. I'm like, didn't I tell you I had these condoms ready? I'm on a time capsule. She's like, all right, I ain't. For You're on a time capsule. Forget the robusting thing. How that's not even a not even a word. I mean, I know what he was trying to say, but that's kind of what you, it's kind of what you have to do with LTG. He's not very. He's not very high IQ, as he likes to claim he is. The two degrees that he got, I'm pretty sure. From what I've seen of the guy, I'm pretty sure he got him. He got him out of a cereal box. I don't think he went to college. Don't think he did. And if he did go to college and they somehow gave him the two degrees, one of two things happened. 
out of one the criteria of getting those degrees in the colleges that he or the college that he went to were not very high and he could just go in and get them. I'm pretty sure the criteria to get into the college that he went to with what I have seen from this guy is they just required you to have a pencil and that's all you needed. Hey, you got a pencil? All right, get in here. Come on in and uh, we're going to we're going to talk physics today. You got that pencil ready? Let's go. The other thing is uh just what he's what what he's said out loud and what he says out loud during any of these rants it melts your brain with just how low tier thought that he actually is your mama jokes my 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 glutes and my thighs are robusting because i do squats every sunday I work out every fucking day. I do squats every fucking day. I wouldn't say that I'm robustin'. I got strong legs. I got some defined muscle in my thighs. <laughs> I got some defined muscle in my glutes, but they're not robustin'. Whatever that's supposed to mean. I'm pretty sure he just means that they're glistening or that they're showing through. They're well defined. But he can't, he can't say those words. He has to make up his own. Because this is a very high IQ thought we're talking. This is a scholar. He's going to change people's thoughts and their minds and their souls with the made-up words that he says. And then, of course, he's got to allude to uh, one thing that he likes to say, and you're probably going to hear it, is uh, him talking about the BBC. Always got to get that in there. Every time. Every rant. Every time that I'm ranting about anybody's mother, I have to talk about how big my penis is. Because that does not say how insecure I am about how small my penis actually is. That I have to keep reiterating how big it is. Um, you know, I, uh, you gotta go, you, you gotta get not, Trojan, Trojan XLs for me wouldn't fit. I need, I need, you need like hefty trash bags to wrap around my junk. And even then, you're going to need two of them. You're going to need, like, the extra-large lawn care bags. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. Five bands. I'll go ahead and dive in with two condoms on. Slid in, fucked, creeped out. Made sure nobody was behind me. As she's glistening and robusted as I hop out the window. Dad, can we play music? Music toxicizes your mind. But look. I'm going to let you live your life. Yeah. Okay, this is another thing uh, that, I, I, that I know for sure about this guy. Is that um, he has a... I think he actually has a very in-the-closet fetish about people watching him have sex. And I think he also has a very in-the-closet thing about other men. Specifically other men watching him doing anything sexual. Um, he's already alluded to the fact, or to the idea, rather, that uh, he wants to actually do sexual things with guys. He's You can go and watch any of his archived stuff or anything that anyone else's is archived because he likes to... I'm pretty sure he's probably going to come around to this stream at some point and he's going to flag it down or try to flag it down. I can already I can already feel it in my bones. And uh he can go ahead and try to do that if he want if he really wants to. But I will just file an appeal because I'm not just whole first of all it's not even his video that I'm commenting over. Uh it's someone else's videos who has uh, <laughs> who has went in and archived this stuff and sliced it up, did their own fair use stuff to it. I'm doing my fair use stuff to it as well. I'm, I'm commenting over this. Sure, I'm doing it on a stream because I think it would be funny if somebody from his camp was to come in and start saying anything, or if, God forbid, if he was to walk in 
But of course, you know, this god among men probably doesn't have time for uh, lowly peons, like he loves to say. And of course, he's going to throw the stereotypical mom joke, uh, and then he's going to talk about how I'm a worthless, ugly, irrelevant, out of shape, living in my mom's basement, blah, 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 blah. Uh, I've already heard it all, and if you want to believe that, that's fine. <laughs> you, you're, irrelevant, you're irrelevant enough on my radar that I can talk about you, but I don't need to engage you, and I don't need to prove anything to you. You're not that important. You may want to think you are, but you're not that important. Anyways, going back to this uh, scholar and him making up his words, toxicitizing. It toxicitizes your mind. You know, there's other words you could use there. There's other there's other examples you could say. You could say music toxifies your mind. That was that's that's a word. You could do that. It means the same thing that you're trying to say. Or you could just say the music that you all listen to is toxic. And music in and of itself is toxic for your mind. But I'll let you live your life. I don't know. I, do, I personally think that saying words that are actually real and being articulate about it would make much more sense than making up all this bullshit, but whatever. But I'm just letting you know music toxicizes your mind, but no problem. Look, I'll play whatever you want. I don't think animals are natural to the earth. I just think reptiles, those giant ass reptiles, which are dinosaurs, I think they were natural to, to Earth, for sure. You don't think animals are natural to the Earth? What does that even mean? If animals aren't natural to the Earth, then why are they on Earth? <laughs> okay. And then... Uh, you, 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 animals aren't natural to the Earth... But the big ass reptiles, the dinosaurs were. You do know that dinosaurs still exist on Earth now. They're called birds. And they're animals. <laughs> Strange. Strange indeed. We're, we're, we're uh, getting schooled. We're getting edumacated here. That would be a word that he would use. Edumacated. Uh... By the time that we're done getting this edumacation from LTG the Scholar, uh, we're going to be able to graduate to the, the next higher level of thought. Not, not as high as his, of course. I mean, his is mentally, un you know, he's mentally untouchable. Remember that. Can't get to his level. But we'll, 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 gradu we'll graduate up enough that we'll at least understand more of what this God among men is saying, what the prophet is talking of. Horizon 2, it just doesn't feel any different than Horizon 1, and it it loses the lackluster because you already know what it is. Like He says, I. Loses the lackluster? You mean it loses the appeal of what it is? Hmm. He says, yeah, man, I, I, I'm new to town. He was like, so is it safe to come here after 10 o'clock? I was just like, I said, yeah, I said, absolutely. I said, and I broke down the demographics of the town. I broke down the demographics of how this city. Broke down the demographics. Are you trying to say that you broke down the geography like the social geography of of where you live huh okay uh, I guess I guess on planet LTG that, that all makes sense city works I don't even think the KKK dislike blacks I just think they 
I don't even think it's it's not even on that type of time anymore. What in the major fuck are we? You don't think the 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 KKK is racist? What do you even mean? Do you also not think that? <laughs> do you also not think that uh, Hitler was misguided and evil? Do you also not think the Holocaust happened? Oh no, I can't actually say that because I would spoil that for myself because I actually know what he thinks about the Holocaust. He thinks that's that was all real because it's documented. And apparently documentation is two words. Who knew? Scholar has proved us wrong once again and has shined, shined the light and opened the way. So sure that our Savior here will help us out. When, in our times of need to come. If he doesn't uh, apparently get whisked away by uh, the reptiles that run our government, as he so believes, by the way. The reptiles that uh, run, run our society. If he doesn't get whisked away by them first to pleasure his BBC, because that's what they need. Because that's exactly what he would say. That's what, they, that's what he would allude to over and over again. Because this guy cannot go on any sort of long rant or anything within the realm of education or knowledge without referring back to my dick. That's all he can do. Anyways, moving on. Bruh. If there's any way maybe I could come? <laughs> no. Especially not. No, right now I don't sense any racism. I am defending it. What the fuck you mean? How is how, oh no, how is this old man a racist? Answer me that question. How the fuck is that old man a racist? Oh no, he just said he couldn't come. He didn't say, no, your black ass can't come. He didn't say no, that'd be different. You mean why can't he come? Nigga, it is it's a it's a clan meeting. You know niggas ain't allowed at clan meetings. Why are we acting like why, why are we acting like it's racist because he can't come to a clan meeting? Does anything even really need to be said about that? I'm just gonna let I'm actually just gonna let that sink in for a moment. Because we have two different we have two different things going on here at once. First of all, he doesn't think this uh KKK member is racist, first of all. There's nothing that he said that's racist so far. Other than, you know, this guy asking if he can go to one of the meetings, and the guy's like, no, nah, especially, you, you know, especially not you. There's, like, there, like his chat, from what I'm reading, and I kind of watched as, I kind of watched as and listened as he was doing his thing, but watching his chat, even they're saying it was Im implicated, it was implied because he's a he's a clan member. Of course, of course, especially not you. You can't come because you're black. I mean, that's obvious. Well, sorry. Obvious to us, but we're plebs. We have to remember that. You know, the scholar here is uh on a realm far above us that he doesn't see racism even whenever it's plain and in your face. He has to specifically hear Ob like completely obvious racism. Like he said, you know, you can't come because you're black. If he was to have said that specifically, he would have had a problem. Like because it's implied racism, no issue. Being a KKK member ain't racist? No, nah, I don't think so. Bruh. Don't tell me what the fuck to talk. I'm smarter than you. I'm a scholar. There's a difference. I'm smarter than you. I'm a scholar. You can have this conversation with me if you have not even completed college at all. You've never studied demographics. You've never studied any of this shit. I'm at Flash. <laughs> I love people with uh, with that mindset, and that goes back to the whole narcissism thing that I kept mentioning before. And that's the reason why I, uh, <laughs> I keep referring to him as the scholar, because you can't have a you can have a conversation with him about this particular topic unless you've completed college. If you haven't completed college, there's no way you could have this. You could have this, uh, this talk with him. Why? 
Why would you even try? You haven't been to college. You're not a scholar. <laughs> Back. I broke down the demographics of how this city works. It's not 70s kids shit, dumbass nigga. You don't know my demographics. Kill yourself. End of flashback. I'm gonna just say this. I can't say it hurts my feelings because I don't have emotions. Bitch ass nigga! Dog my dick, bitch! Pussy ass nigga! What are you taking this shit serious? Do y'all say what the fuck I'm talking about? Ooh, I got fucking rock! Fuck! Oh my god! Damn it! Get off my dick! Fuck! But I'm gonna. Yep, no emotion. I agree. All that yelling. All that yelling that, you, that we just witnessed of him yelling at people in fighting games. It's not emotion. All that rage and anger displayed very obviously in front of us. That wasn't emotion. You thought that was emotion? You're just not looking at it from a scholar, college completed, God level. And if you don't believe in that, then... You know, you're stupid, and you're ugly, and you live in your mom's basement, and uh, I'm, I'm fucking her every night with my 42-inch long penis. Remember that. <laughs> Say, it really, it really sucks that as human beings, we're programmed to really believe in a geography placement, which is skin color, is still controlling the demographics of the globe. A geography placement, which is skin color, is still controlling the demographics of the globe. Am I proud to be black? That's a stupid ass question. I look incredible. What kind of stupid ass question is that? I am in love with myself. So why would I want to ever look in the mirror and alternately change that by going to a different ethnicity where I could fuck up my symmetrics, fuck up the perfection that I fucking am? Pure idiocy to ask me that shit. Okay. We know you're in love with yourself. Pretty obvious. Like, it's beyond obvious that you're in love with yourself. We get it. <laughs> and then, why would I, why would you want to, why would you look in the mirror and change your ethnicity to mess up with the symmetrics of yourself? You mean the symmetry of yourself? Frankly, frankly, LTG. Uh, we have seen the symmetrics. <laughs> we have seen the symmetrics <laughs> of your, uh, <laughs> of your body. We've already seen it. We just saw a picture of it, actually. I, I like the fact that, uh, Simp fell in here, put that in there. Thank you. Uh, it kind of reiterates the point. We've seen your we've seen your symmetrics. We've seen your actual the actual word anyway. We've seen your symmetry. And uh, there's nothing symmetric about you. The only thing that's symmetric about you is that you appear to have two eyes and two ears, two arms, two legs. They appear to have all of the digits that are required on each of on each of those limbs. As far as anything else goes. Not very symmetric. Sure, you got you got some you got some biceps on you. Hallelujah for that, I guess. Uh, doesn't really change the fact that your legs are still scrawny enough that if you were to get into a physical confrontation with anybody, that they would snap them in half with a single with a single touch. Wouldn't even need to be a punch or a kick. Just touch them. Those little fuckers would snap right off. <laughs> Ask. I've always used to get, I always used to get clowned from my own ethnicity for speaking too proper. Pure idiocy to ask me that shit. Oh, because my vocabulary is vast and I know how to articulate myself with no shortcuts and fillers. Do correlate. If you still believe in racism, stop beating your meat to porn that is not black on black. Stop fucking chicks that's not black. You can help bring more niggas on earth. Beliefs and action is completely different thing. If I believe that everybody that's Mexican has a fucking micro cock, which obviously is most likely false, that doesn't make me racist against Mexican men. Or right, his beliefs are they are born superior. So what's so what? I believe I'm superior to motherfuckers. Does that make me racist? Um, you. 
if this is a genuine question, which I'm inclined to believe that it might be, which is the sad part, if that is a serious question, What? <laughs> see, see what I mean by it melts your it melts your fucking brain. It really does. You do you not know what racism is? Your chat obviously does because they keep bringing stuff up. They actually have points. At least some of the people do. I know there's. Unfortunately, this goes with uh, people like DSP as well. There are the consummate ball lickers and ass sniffers there that will agree with you no matter what you say and will very rarely call you out and very rarely disavow you uh, for stuff that you say. But for the most part, a lot of the non-gemmed people, a lot of the non-mods, are being like, uh, they believe racism is you believe one race is superior to another. It's kind of why, uh, it's kind of what racism is, and why it exists to this day. It's because there are people on every, every shade you can think of, not just white, although it is very prominent with the white folk, that... It, it's it, that's what they do believe they believe that their race is superior to anyone else their skin color is superior to anyone else essentially that's what racism is I don't know why you as a scholarly college college uh, high IQ mentally untouchable mentally untouchable brain god thing that you are doesn't realize that and doesn't acknowledge that. What the fuck? Why? Anyways. They think minorities are subhuman, so I want you to take two things into equation. <laughs> I probably should have waited. <laughs> they think minorities are subhuman, so. That doesn't say anything about them being racist. What's wrong with you? It's not racism. I think my, you know, he's, uh, I'm pretty sure he's just sitting there going, hey man, I'm LTG. I think minorities are subhuman. So what? I'm LTG. I'm a god among men. You know, my, 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 uh, my parent was, uh, was a fallen angel. And then they had sex with my other parent and then out came me. A demi angel, hum a demi human, demi god, walking the earth, spreading my, spreading my godly word. Equation: One, I'm playing at two percent. Two, I SD. You have a big fan base. Remember, nobody's expendable. Anybody can be banned on Twitch. Drive God. I really hope that a lot of the stuff that I'm hearing in this video is just him being confused. Because if it's not, then I definitely need to know. Not for, like, and I know exactly what he's going to say whenever I say this, but I'm going to go ahead and cover my tracks. I'm going to cover all bases before I say the next thing that I'm about to say. This isn't for personal information at all just because of what I'm about to ask it's not for personal information it's honestly for me to know where to not go for education I, I would like to know where these two degrees come from so I can avoid it because wherever it was he got these two degrees with the with the with with what education that they've given him the product that they produced I don't need to go there and anyone else who goes there hopefully things have gotten better since he went through that system because if they haven't if they're still the same I foresee what I've already what I've already 
pretty much come to the conclusion of and have already started foreseeing is that, you know, we're doomed. I think that's pretty obvious. We're fucking doomed as a species if our next levels of education produce shit like this. We are going to be a... This planet w will be a, a giant flaming smoking ball of gaseous shit, to quote George Carlin. Indeed, if that is the case. Gauge. It says the engine that powers the drive system is available as soon as the round begins. If you spin your entire drive gauge... Gauge. All right, so drive gauge cost... Gauge. There's something called a drive push. Drive gauge cost. Gauge nigga damn. Yo ugly box head. Man weave. Ashy big bottom lip ass can't read. Oh, there's not one person in here. <laughs> drive gauge. You know, whenever I, uh... Whenever I drive in the car... And I want to know exactly how fast I'm going. I like to look at my speed gouge. And whenever I want to know how, how well the temperature inside my engine is doing, I look at the temperature gouge. And then whenever I uh, want to know how much gas I have left, uh, I look at, the, I look at the, the, the gas gouge. I look at all those gouges. Because that's exactly how you say that word. Gouge. Which, gouge and gauge, I'm pretty sure, aren't spelled the same. Pretty sure gouge is G-O-U-G-E. Pretty sure. I will double check just so I don't look like a fucking idiot. But I'm pretty sure that gouge and gauge are two different words spelled the same, or not spelled the same, but spelled differently. Pretty sure. And I know they're not pronounced the same, fucking obviously. You know, you have to be, you, you, you have to be bottom of the barrel fucking dumb. Like, you're, you're not even in the barrel, you're under the barrel with the fucking termites at this point. With that level of stupidity, if you, right, fucking move on, okay. That owns a fucking shirt that says anything is possible. If you do, you're a fucking idiot. Basically, when you're wearing a shirt that says anything is possible, it's showing that when you're off alcohol, you're willing to be somebody else that you naturally wouldn't have the confidence to be, or you're showing that you're willing to solicit alcohol to a woman to try to get her to fuck through purchasing any. So, take those into equation. What the fuck? Does that shirt sleeping with a woman have to do with each other? If you own a shirt that says anything is possible, then obviously you're dumb, I guess. What? Okay. You believe that uh, giving a woman an alcoholic drink may turn things around whenever it comes to sleeping with her. Well, I mean... I would assume that the reason why that happens is because there's some sort of past event where that has been the case, that therefore that's why they do it. I personally don't condone it. Either way, though, you would think that that's why that would be brought up, but I don't know, I don't understand how those equate to each other. Why don't you put that equation together for me, Mr. Scholar? Nigga had, the 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 nigga had his Pentium, uh, like a, a passed down Pentium 2 family heirloom connected to a, um, I think it was connected to a generator or to a, um, what was it? I forget one of those amps. He was connected to an amp for electricity. <laughs> Think about this. Maybe the billionaires on Earth are reptilians because <clears throat> how does somebody like Bill Gates be the only person to crack that style of code to become some crazy, nasty billionaire off internet technology and be like the only motherfucker to ever do it? Um, you get what I'm saying? Technology-wise. So maybe since he's a reptilian and everybody knows reptilians, their technology is through the roof, that's why he was able to become a billionaire off of it. What in the actual shit did I just hear? 
I, the, the whole conspiracy mindset where, you know, billionaires and on earth and in the government and anywhere, basically, billionaires among humans have to be reptilians in order to be billionaires and all that. Especially now that uh, we now know that statistics-wise, 5% of the U.S. population are millionaires now. I guess all them are reptilians, too. Reptilians are starting to uh, move down as far as that goes. Apparently, technology is not all that important. Apparently, you just got to have a good business acumen, and there you go. <laughs> Apparently, reptilians are good at business. Who knew? But I, I don't I don't get I don't get any of this only because it's coming from a conspiratory mindset, and any time that anybody's throwing conspiracies at me, I kind of shut down mentally, because I dealt with the shit for like ten years, and it's very hard to listen to it and to acknowledge anything about it as being worth listening to. It's just not, just fucking not in my opinion. Um, but with that being said, I'm going to take that very brief in intermission that I mentioned that I was going to take before, and, uh, <laughs> and then I will be right back, everyone. Yay!
problem. Like, because it's implied racism, no issue. Being a KKK member ain't racist? No, nah, I don't think so. Bruh. Don't tell me what the fuck to talk. I'm smarter than you. I'm a scholar. There's a difference. I'm smarter than you. I'm a scholar. You can have this conversation with me if you have not even completed college at all. You've never studied demographics. You've never studied any of this shit. I'm at Flash. <laughs> I love people with, uh, with that mindset, and that goes back to the whole narcissism thing that I kept mentioning before. And that's the reason why uh, <laughs> I keep referring to him as the scholar. Because you can't have a you can have a conversation with him about this particular topic unless you've completed college. If you haven't completed college, there's no way you could have this. You could have this uh, this talk with him. Why? Why would you even try? Nah. You haven't been to college. Tomorrow. You're not a scholar. <laughs> Back. I broke down the demographics of how this city works. Not 70s kids shit, dumbass nigga. You don't know my demographics, kill yourself. And a Yeah. I, w I went late pretty live tonight, so. I'll give you guys an earlier stream next one. Is this an extended version? Why is this track still on? Okay, we're back. <laughs> Sorry for that. I got myself a drink, and uh, I also decided to spend a little bit of a little bit of a moment there. I don't know if it picked up on the, the stream or not. It may have. If it does, that's fine. Uh, because all I was doing was making listening to make sure I did two things real quick: listen to make sure that my stream was actually coming through all right, which it is. That's always fun. And I also hopped over to uh, Mr. Scholar's stream that he's doing right now and just kind of seeing what he's up to. For whatever reason, I think it's just because it's YouTube and maybe there's an option to do it. I'm not entirely sure, but I went to see if uh, maybe I popped up on the radar, which I didn't. But that doesn't mean that I won't later. Just I didn't that right now. He's too busy ball, being balls deep and getting his ass kicked and smash that uh, he can't be too worried about what anyone else is doing. And I couldn't uh, be the couldn't be an epic wise ass and uh, let him know that I'm talking about him because he's uh, got his chat disabled to where only people who have subscribed for eight weeks or longer actually say anything in this chat I don't know what mr. Uh, I don't know what mr. God here is so worried about who knows maybe uh, maybe he's pretty terrified that some of them damn nasty trolls will come in those those, uh, those, those nasty detractors <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, let's uh, continue on here after this conspiratory reptilian talk. So I came up with the most ultimate roast. I don't give a fuck what you guys say. I came up with the most ultimate roast at that particular time in history. And I said what I said due to fucking rebuttal, you dumbass nigga. Everything that I've ever said on stream to motherfuckers has been fucking rebuttal. Everything I've ever done has been fucking rebuttal for people fucking with me. And you're lucky that's all that's ever happened. Because I'm mentally stronger than that. I know if so, I know if I know you want to fuck with me, why would I allow you to let me tip over the Richter scale? Anything I've ever said has always been rebuttal. I don't just I nigga stop acting like this shit ain't rebuttal. I just take verbal bullets like Superman. I just take verbal bullets like Superman. You take verbal bullets. 
like a normal person. You take verbal bullets like an artillery shell hitting a sitting duck. That's exactly how you take verbal bullets. Because the fact that you're talking about it right now means it gets to you. Anybody who's has a de who has a college degree should know this. I went to college, LTG, studied psychology for quite a while. I have uh, about 10 years experience in psychology. And even if I didn't, it doesn't take it doesn't take brain brain science or rocket surgery, as uh, Jim Cornette always likes to say. And and I, I've I've said that too. I'm a Southern boy myself, so I've heard that before. Anyways, it doesn't take brains. It doesn't take rocket surgery or brain science to realize that anything that anybody says to you that you have to throw a rebuttal at, apparently that you have to that that you have to rebut. Doesn't take it. Doesn't take too too hard of a of an education to see. It's just common sense. Actually, is all it ne is all it needs to see exactly how mentally touched and how emotionally affected you are by what people say. I can almost guarantee that you're going to at some point because you do Google yourself, you do look up what people are saying about you. And you do look up videos that you need to strike down at some point. I know you do it. I know you do it. I'm just waiting for the day that you come across this. You listen to what I have to say and how I re react and respond to this video here. Now, I'm almost done with, thankfully, and the stream's already gone on almost an hour. But you're going to sit and watch the entirety of this thing. You're going to watch it in that little room of yours. You're not going to be in front of a camera at the time. You're not going to be live at the time. You're probably going to get ready to do whatever fucking work that you do before you stream. You're going to be sitting in your little fucking work outfit. Like two hours before work. Just You just, you just got showered. You're ready to go. You're going to be sitting right where you are now. Just in your work outfit though. So you got you got to make that money. You're gonna you're gonna be sitting there and you're gonna listen to this whole thing, and there's gonna be tears streaming down your face as you listen to just how much of a mental superior that I am to you. I'm faceless. I'm nameless. You can call me Rev, bud. But in all honesty, you should tick that up a notch. You should call me Con. Because that's what I am. To you, it's a name and a title. Both of them are superior. <laughs> I gotta do a little ego stroking myself. Come on. Mr. Mentally Untouchable Scholar God that you are. Let's continue hearing your, your fucking retarded bullshit. Nigga, are you fucking retarded? That's because niggas come in here and troll every day, you dumb fuck! You wanna just open up my stream talking about you bitch ass niggas? Minecraft, yup. Niggas tried to infiltrate and let ghost. Niggas let. opened up hell in my server in Minecraft. I let the wrong nigga in. This motherfucker did a code that had ghosts and goblins coming through the fucking graphical, ungraphical sky. I'm like, God, I can't even build blocks. I'm the only nigga that streams and has trolls. It's not my fault that you're ugly. It's not my fault that you can't find purpose in life. Therefore, you feel worthless. Therefore, you try to vicariously live through me. Uploading me on YouTube is not going to make your life any better. You're still going to be a trash, worthless human. You're still going to be a shit, sleep, and eat human. You're going to be a forgotten spectacle in this timeline. And like I said. Well. No. I'm going to get a lot out of this, actually. I'm already a better human than you are. So I don't really need to 
do this in order to be better. I'm frankly doing this because I just need to get it said. You ever had one of those moments? Well, I mean, you do all the time in front of your camera because you fucking go off the hinges whenever someone mentions, you know, you're the black DSP or they say your name, your quote-unquote government name, whatever. All the things that trigger you. But I'm already better than you. And I, I, I just need to get this off my chest, much like whenever you do, whenever you go crazy on people. You have to get that off your chest and out of your mind. That's what I'm doing right now. So, if that makes me somehow a worthless garbage human, then welcome to the club. You do it all the time. And just because you like to constantly increase your fucking height whenever everybody knows that you're not 6'5", you're not. They have, there are plenty of pictures of you standing next to someone who is six six one, and they're about as tall as you. Maybe just like from eyebrows or forehead, like mid forehead up taller, which indicates that you're not six five, you're maybe six three. I have a nephew who's as tall as you are. You're not that tall. You are tall, but you're not that tall. And if, and if that is one of the prerequisites to this weird God gene shit that you love to always bring up, then I already know someone who has the God gene. And, uh, he's way better than you. By leaps and bounds, way better. But I'm already there, too. And, you know, 90% of the world, they're, they're already there, too. Give you a little bit of generosity. Give you 10% to play around with. Because if you include all the evils and all the things that people do in the world. I would say that uh, you're about along the same lines. Just, you know, you didn't kill anybody or anything like that. But being a narcissist is a very special crime and sin in and of itself, I do believe. And, uh, you know, you believe in a Christianized science. I don't even know what the fuck that's supposed to mean. I guess just science, but with a Christian worldview, so it's kind of like creationism, but not creationism. I don't know. Christian science, uh, I think uh, Tre uh, Trevor Wilson said it best, which was uh, if uh, whenever he's talking about his his family and his, and. His family comes from a long line of uh, Christian scientists. And uh, he jokingly said, so because I come from that, uh, you can already assume that most of my family's already dead. Because Christian scientists don't even believe in going to the doctor to get better. But he, had to, he did have a rant about how the, the vaccine's going to make you superhuman. So obviously he still goes to the doctor and stuff, but... I don't know. It's just a fucked up thing. It's a real fucked up mindset. But once again, must be that whole scholar mindset, you know, that scholar god mind that we 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 just we can't adapt to. We can't understand. So far above us. <laughs> I love to go back to that. It's it actually is making me happy <laughs> to go back to that and just keep poking at the at the shit. It's great. I'm very good at reading words on screen and translating it into body language. Same shit with pictures. I do it IRL as well, obviously. What? Yeah, this is horrible, man. I'm not having a good time playing this shit because there's no real actual players I can learn from. That's how I actually learn how to fucking play the game through dexterity, not fucking random sloppy ass fucking scrubs. Don't tell me what the fuck I would get. It would be pointless for a nigga. Let me go ahead and fucking pointless your ass for 80 thou. Google it. You can't do sex selection. You can't choose the sex of your child. You don't have to have girls. If my girl disagree with me, I would ask her beforehand. If she disagrees, we can co-parent. We're trying to enforce...
that one right there honestly fucking throws me for a goddamn loop. And I, I might have to go back and listen to that again. But did he say that he believes in sex selection? That you can have sex with someone and impregnate them and choose, and, and they can actively choose what the gender of the kid is? I need to make sure I heard that right. And I'm not going to mute myself this time. Because I want, I want to make sure I'm hearing it. Google it. You can't do sex selection. You can't choose the sex of your child. You don't. Okay, so there, yeah. You can choose. Whenever I first heard it, like, like whenever I first, whenever he first said can, I thought he said can't. Because his fucking speech is atrocious sometimes. And it's just hard to hear. But, anyways. But he did reiterate it there and I heard it again. You can pick. You can pick the sex of your fucking kid whenever you whenever you're actually trying to have a kid. No, you can't. That is like bare bones basic bio bare bones basic biology. If you had any, if you had biology 101, which if you went if you have two degrees in college, I'm sure you you do because biology is kind of a gatekeeper course. You, you think that you can choose the gender of your kid while having sex, or after doing, or after having sex? You think you that there's a sex selection? Do you do you literally think we live in a game that whenever you uh, whenever you impregnate somebody, it's like it's like a it's like activating God mode in The Sims? Where you pick what the child's gonna be, and then you hear the wondrous music as you go through the creation of the kid. And if they disagree with you, you're just gonna co-parent. So you're not gonna live with them, not gonna marry them, nothing like that. You're gonna help take care of the kid, but you don't live together. What what strange abomination, what strange pit of the internet did you fucking crawl out of? Really, where where did you fucking come from, man? I have to have girls. If my girl disagree with me, I would ask her beforehand. If she disagrees, we can co-parent. Well, China enforces a lot of things. I think over there you're not allowed to have past a seven inch cock. See, now there is exactly what I was fucking talking about earlier with going back to the fucking dick thing. And any t anything sexual has to do with his fucking penis. Anything has to do with this dude's dick, he has to look it up. Why would that be one of the first things that you look up whenever it comes to regulations and restrictions in another country? Is how big your fucking dick is allowed to be? What the fuck, dude? To get in, like, certain buildings. I can't remember what it was, but you're not allowed to have a BBC in certain areas. I, something weird. I'm actually kind of, like, half tempted to look that up myself. I may do it. I won't display it on screen or anything. But I may do it just to kind of see if that is a thing. I fucking doubt it, though. I really fucking doubt it. But this is another part that I skimmed at and kind of stopped. Because anytime he's reading the chat, I kind of like to stop and see exactly what it is that he deletes and who he bans and whatnot. And just in case you're curious, it's the longest text there. It's the, uh, and he will zoom on, he will zoom in on it. But I kind of have it paused in case you want to read it. I'll read it aloud in case somebody is uh, just listening to this and doesn't want to watch it. Uh... Someone named uh, Matthew Lewis, and they say in his chat, Bro, if I wanted to hear ramblings from an old-ass nigga, I would talk to my grandpa. Remember, we here to see you rage in a fighting game. And uh, just just so you're, just if you're curious, and you will hear it, he doesn't even acknowledge this whenever he bans it, but he goes out of his way 
to ban this person from the room. Once again, a little bit of that insecurity starting to slip through. So, I sold the motherfucking car, man. Um, <laughs> I sold the car to this um, big Spanish dude. He was, like, so ecstatic to get it. And I was so ecstatic to get rid of it. Yeah, it definitely was a ghetto whip, 100%. Every time I look at the fucking moon now, I'm like, yeah, that shit definitely is, is a mega structure for sure. It just sits there like a spying bowl. Ain't no way in fuck that shit is just a moon. Anybody watch that video? Ever since that video, He's it definitely is a giant like alien base. We only see one exactly side of the moon. It the doesn't people. rotate. It helps the gravitational pull. Uh, it's a, it has the correct gravitational pull and the right mathematics. Once a fucking again, what in the fucking shit? And if and if that cut through, I was making sure my stream was still up and it was still going. Sorry about that. But uh, I'll back this up a little bit so I can kind of come back to it in real time. Talking about how the moon's fake? Fucking what? The moon's fake? Misa don't think so, sir. Okay, so yeah, that pause was because I was lo I was actually looking up the whole China thing. I don't know where the fuck he saw that or where he looked it up. Whenever I type in anything that has to do with that, first thing that comes up is just medical studies about how big China men are. Apparently, interesting. <laughs> okay, well, let's get back to this fucking fake moon bullshit. I can only imagine. It was a ghetto whip, 100%. Every time I look at the fucking moon now, I'm like, yeah, that shit definitely is, is a mega structure for sure. It just sits there like a spying bowl. Ain't no way in fuck that shit is just a moon. Anybody watch that video? Ever since that video, it definitely is a giant alien base. We only see one side of the moon. It doesn't rotate. It helps... The gravitational pull, uh, it's a, it has the correct gravitational pull and the right mathematics. The same shit we've been talking about the moon. I honestly feel like the moon is a giant um, space station that controls the currents on Earth, controls the seasons. It's just mathematically done too well. Yeah, the moon. Okay, he's not done, but already. What in the flaming fuck hell are we talking about here? The moon is, the moon controls the seasons. And that it's a, it's a giant space base? What? The moon is hollow. Permanent daylight savings? Is that a rumor or is it real? Because they said this shit before. So what they're secretly... Okay, now I'm just going to let this play through. There's not that much left, and if I just let it play through, I can just talk about it all at once and get it over with. What I'm trying to do is figure out how to age us all an hour faster. They, they already sped up time in 2020. If you're wondering why the years went by faster, it's because they secretly sped up time without us psychologically feeling it. But they sped up time on Earth. You're not going to feel the hour if it's permanent. It's going to feel regular to you. Like right now we're feeling it. We should be like, oh, it's 1224 right now. But you get over it in about a week. Definitely, they for sure sped up the earth in 2020. 100%. No, we're ran by reptilians. I keep telling you guys that. The earth is not ours. The earth was given to us as an experiment. Humans are a drone species. We were created to serve. Okay, thank fucking God. <laughs> oh, Lord Almighty. Um, so, let's go through this one at a time real quick. And then after that, we are fucking done. And I can, and I, I, I'm just gonna go. <laughs>
stream will stay up as long as it can until, of course, I'm pretty sure he inevitably comes across it, cries over it, and then uh, tries to have it flagged down for some bullshit reason. He'll probably try to DMCA it, I can already see it, and then if I try to appeal it, you know, not normal, uh, normal doxing bullshit. He's no, he's kind of notorious for doing that shit, so. <clears throat> so anyways, if he, do, and, well, he'll, before he goes on stream and, uh, you know, reacts to it, and then probably talks about wanting to fuck my mom and all kinds of other shit. Normal, normal, you know, normal grade school tactics, the normal shit, you know. Anyways. So first things first, he thinks that the the moon is fake. The moon is fake. The moon is hollow. The moon's space base. It's used to control the weather on our planet and to speed up time, which apparently that they they successfully did in 2020. He knows. He's part of the inner circle, I guess. He's he's got that. He's he's part of that uh, Illuminati group that we always hear about. You know, that's they this this is an active agent, an active Freemason out in the world, letting us know the secrets. By while also proclaiming that uh, he's a scholar god. <laughs> but anyways, what in the flame and fuck hell, bro? You you believe the moon is a space is a ho is hollow and is a space station that controls weather and time. And you, I guess you just th just wholeheartedly think the government does it? What in the hell? <laughs> okay, sure. Why not? Go ahead and have your fucking weird-ass conspiracy, man. It's fucking ridiculous. Anybody would believe that shit wholeheartedly and mean it. I don't understand how anybody could believe that shit. Anyways, uh, and then, yep, apparently the world is ran by reptilians. Uh, we were put here as an experiment. We are, we are here to serve them, I guess, somehow, indirectly. Because I fucking don't know I'm doing it. Nobody else apparently does, except for him. But, you know, this is fucking Scholar God talking, so. He just knows things. <laughs> Fuck. All right, man. So, quite simply, what what was what was the point of doing this, right? Because I'm pretty sure that's going to come up eventually if he doesn't ask it himself in his stream whenever he eventually comes across this and reacts to it, or makes a video about it, or whatever he, whatever he does. If he does it, he does, and if he doesn't, he doesn't. I don't really care either way, but. I do know the guy is, he said it himself, he's in love with himself, so he uh, he's constantly going to be searching up what people are saying about him and whatnot. Anyways, uh, <laughs> what's the point in doing all this? It, like I said, it, it has to do with me just happening to get something off my chest because people like this annoy the absolute fuck out of me that if I don't eventually rant about it, I'm just going to explode. I don't want to do that. I don't want to explode. Exploding's not good. It's very healthy to be able to rant and, get, and just vent about things. And whenever it comes to this guy, I needed the whole hour and some odd that uh, I've been doing this in order to... In order to rant about him because he's, I don't know, he he gives special a whole new fucking thing. He gives special a surprising amount of something. It's fucking crazy. This dude believes the weirdest shit. And his excuse for believing this weird shit is that he's some kind of scholar god. That he's on a completely different mental level than the rest of us. Therefore, if you don't understand it, you're just dumb. When in actuality, if we don't understand it, it's probably, and most likely, and indubitably obvious that we don't understand it because you're fucking retarded. 
You are. You're dumb. You're, you are dumb beyond all comprehension. And the fact that you say this shit and expect people to just get it just right off the bat is, is, is also beyond dumb. Stick to doing what you're semi-good at, which is just fucking ranting and, well, not really ranting, sorry. Stick to what you're fucking good at, which is just which is just rage quitting games. Just rage in a game. That's all you need to do, man. Just go and rage in your stupid fucking games. And don't, like, and if you talk, just talk about the game. Don't talk about what you believe or what you think. That's the most detrimental thing that you can fucking do. Ugh. Oh. Oh my god. So, yeah, that's it. That's uh, LTG. If uh, if any of you all want to torture yourselves, I would recommend that you not go to his channel, per se. I would recommend that you go to any other channel that uh, does videos about this guy. Um, Simp Felon is, is definitely who you need to go see, for sure. I'm shouting this guy out, and it's not going to mean much, because I don't have fucking anything, but, you know, no subscribers or anything like that. But anyways, I'm still shouting him out out of the way, for anybody who happens to come across this. People like Simp Felon, or, uh, I think, uh, another good one is, uh, Chelka and Joshua Cornstar. <laughs> Those guys, go to any of those guys and they'll basically recommend you to anyone else around. Those are the best people to uh, look at when trying to cover fucking Deli Boy here. Fucking LTG. Jesus Christ on a cracker, man. Like, I feel like I feel like I need to physically take out my brain and just wash the shit. Just wash all of the dirt and grime and muck out of the out of the many crevices that are there just because of this fucking dumb shit I, I really I really need to do something I need to oh, I just need to replenish my brain because he he melts it his stupidity is like lava <laughs> it's like lava to your gray matter man fuck all right well Anyways, that's all I really needed to do. I hope you all enjoyed. Uh, I do have all my social links down in, down in the description. Um, you can pretty much, uh, if you need updates or whatever, those will all be there. Uh, Patreon is basically brand new. Uh, it's uh, I don't know when I opened it, and I haven't touched it since I opened it, so it's brand new. <laughs> so if you want to... Uh, Drop me some coinage there. That'd be awesome. You don't have to. Yeah, it's just the thought that matters, I guess. Um, uh, one of the things that uh, I lack whenever it comes to these streams and videos is motivation. And it's just a personal thing. Uh, I've struggled with it for a while. And uh, I'm trying to get better. But if you all do enjoy this shit, and want to see me do it more, especially in my own unique style, um, do drop me some coinage there. I uh, also I also set up a stream labs here. You all can uh, drop me something there too. Uh, that should be down be down below in my description. Um, yeah, but uh, or you can follow me on Twitter, that sort of shit. Okay, well, it's been fun. <laughs> uh, I'm glad you all stuck with it. Any anybody who uh, comes across this, nobody watched. That's fine. Uh, you you never you never get big overnight. You gotta start off small. But uh, yeah, uh, hopefully I'll see you all in a little while for the next one. And uh, if it's another one of these, I'm going to like have. Like, I'm, I'm going to hop into the Star Wars universe and just have a fucking back to tank that I can just dive into whenever I'm done and hopefully replenish all this mental scarring. <laughs> oh, fuck. Okay, well, 
anyways, until next time, stay strong, stay glorious, never change, you beautiful people, and I will catch you all in the next one.